the citations, guys. Welcome back to Stock Up Sense EGX Rest. Uh, continue to bring you some of the best games on the show here this, this year. Um, we've brought you a wide variety of uh, educational, chilling, emotional. Um, sometimes you just want to kick your feet off and go some good old fashioned destruction. Sometimes you want a nice, strong narrative. Um, why not do both? We have Lewis here. Talk about American futures. Um, Let's start with the story. So the story is a good old-fashioned adventuring measure. So you have been imprisoned for a crime you didn't commit, namely the murder of your father, the start of our game, and then very quickly you break out of prison and take on proving your innocence and more importantly finding revenge on the people that murdered your dad. Is it the It's a good guy. Started. But you don't want to get this guy in court. That's right. Yeah. You've, done, you've done for murder, so you've got to go commit the murder. Exactly. So there is uh, an inherent uh, contradiction in proving your innocence. For that reason, the game is about getting revenge. Any intent of proving your innocence quickly go out the window once you start to interact with the criminal underworld or right up to your mission. You soon realise you're in this 2D and then you just kind of, at all costs, you want to avenge your dad's death. So this, this, we're talking about this dagger, this delta that comes from the church, all these corruption, yeah, yeah, yeah. corruption. Yeah. Are you, are you kind of, is your going on the hunt for a kind of uncovering the secrets to see the underbelly? That's right, yeah, I don't want to give too much away, but we had a, a really good story, a genuinely good story, written by a guy called Greg, Greg Buchanan, who went to the No Man's Sky franchise, and he came up with this really great narrative that is, it's a murder mystery tale, uh, but it's also a conspiracy thriller, and it's dripping in deceit and corruption and lies and mistrust, so as you interact with criminal underworld as you progress to the game and jump over you trust. That's a really we love the story. This is this a really it's like a wonderful kind of stand But then you kind of write it in a like eighties action hero Americana challenge. Yeah, so we we wanted to create an open world game and realised that the best place to set that is in the USA. Uh, so you know, it's very much about uh, cars, like driving these kind of table parts and there are four pillars of the game. Uh, and we just love that feeling of American man, and we're very practically interested by these movies of the 80s and 90s, like Smokey and the Bandits, Jukes uh, of Hazard, as well as obviously the future, and, uh, and things like Shawshank Redemption, which is on the escape. So we've got a beautiful rock of that style on our system, it's one narrative. But then you can just feel like you can just keep the shoes off and go on a criminal rampage just for the fun of it. Yeah, what we found is that people want to have uh, genuine curated content to enjoy in missions, but they also like to find your own. Everybody who's playing GTA, everybody knows that. And so we wanted people to have those sandbox toys, those things to play with. Uh, we've got a great destructible environment, we've got lots of crazy toys like cranes and tons of we littered the world with these toys and we can see the in this room as well as being able to see vehicles, mug people, uh, burglarized buildings and shops. We think of the game as a crime scene. It's amazing to see people just in other playing, fooling around, doing silly things like that. And I love the mechanic you've got in that. Like, you can go up wherever you are, and you've got a timer to, to the police have a button. But you can lower the time of six eight rooms by case of the joint first. So you can just run in, smash a dab or two, and I get that out. Or you can take your time, face the joint, see what's better. Yeah, of course it's better. But then you also say you can go. Well, yeah, we tried to, as much as possible, run in small teams and four main core members of staff. We got some contracting and tried to create GTA like. <laughs> I don't know why we did that. <laughs> but here we are, and I think it's turned out okay. It's, you're right, it's, we think of it as a crime simulator, giving the player an opportunity to commit as much or as little crime as they want in this open world environment, aside from the story stuff. And the story has been doing some pretty crazy crimes as well, from you know, digging up corpses to uh, you know, uh, robbing banks, jumping on the back of trains, really just really wacky. But yeah, it's, it's an open world crime scene, that's how we did it. And there's a lot in there, there's a lot in the scenario. I love the fact that it's... Because sometimes when I sit down, I'm just talking about it, if I went out, sometimes when I've got 20 minutes, I've got a crappy day, just want to break things. Um, so it's funny, it's both moves. Yeah. Um, there's a lot in there. I can't tell you the exact date, but what I can say is that it's going to be the next couple of months. 
and we've got a trailer dropping at the end of this month, April, which will have a release date, uh, and I can confirm that we will be on Xbox, PlayStation, PC, and Switch all at the same time. So that, that trailer's going to drop on this oh, it's coming back. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. going to tell the guys on social media so they'll find it? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So just do a search for American Fugitive, or find us on Fallen Tree Games. Looking forward to letting you play the game. Yeah, no, keep it, guys. We're going to be following this very closely. Not too far away from that release. Uh, check out, we'll have the trailer now. I'm sure we're going to get a lot more in here.